The Jigsaw Puzzle Band were a German rock band formed in Munster, West Germany, in the late 1970s. The original band members were Jurgen Klein on rhythm guitar, Klaus Krugel on lead guitar, with Wolfgang Schaka on drums, and Udo Gutmann on bass guitar. Their earliest works were influenced by the southern rock style of music, as played by bands such as the Marshall Tucker Band, the Outlaws, and the Allman Brothers Band, with their gigs set including covers of various songs recorded by those bands. Playing at venues in and around the Luneburger Heide area of North Germany, the band had a small but loyal fan base. In late 1979, a young English singer-songwriter named Ron Carney was introduced to the band. He joined them on stage during one of their rehearsal sessions and so impressed the band members with his powerful vocals that they invited him to sing with them at a local venue the following weekend. The gig was a complete success, with Carney's stage presence and vocals, adding a new dimension to the band's performance. He joined the band permanently, as the lead singer and frontman, and the new, JPB was formed. With the addition of Carney's vocals and songwriting skills, the band were becoming more popular than ever, and were soon approached by music producer Holger Knut to record their first album, appropriately named, First. The album was recorded in one day, at the Tennessee Sound Studio in Hamburg. Although a low-budget production, the album sold well, and was featured on the BFBS radio station, which at the time broadcast throughout Germany for the British forces stationed there. Carney was interviewed on the radio station, which, together with popular tracks from the album Getting Airplay, led to the band receiving offers to play at various British forces bases, within the Luneburger Heide area of North Germany. This gave them even more publicity, resulting in the band becoming a much sought after act, increasing and widening their loyal fan base. After the release of the album, the band no longer played cover versions, and greatly influenced by the songwriting skills of Carney, and the blistering lead guitar solos of Kruger, gradually ventured into a more conventional and radio-friendly type of rock style. In 1981, the band were joined by keyboard player, writer, Charlie, Rademacher. The addition of keyboards and backing vocals, led to the opening up of even more musical channels, 
As the band continued to experiment with their stage performance, style, and music, In late 1981, Carney had penned the lyrics to a strange little number which the band played around with and recorded. The result was Please Don't Laugh. This number, whilst quirky, raised quite a lot of interest within a number of music producers in Hamburg. One such producer was Kuno Dryasa. He recognized the commercial potential and invited the band to record the number at Tun Studio in Hamburg. The recording was completed in one day. And Dreisa informed the band that a B-side was required to record the following day. On the journey home from Hamburg, Carney wrote the lyrics for this B-side, and together with Kruger came up with an idea for the new song. The next morning at the studios it was presented to the other band members, who improvised the music on the spot. The result was, We All Wanna Know, the B-side. The producer, Dryasa, was so impressed with this new number, he considered releasing it as the A-side. The seven-inch single was released on the Alice record label and is regarded today as a double A side. On September 5, 1981, the band were invited to play at the first open-air festival in Schneeberding. JPB were the next-to-last band on stage, with the last act being the main headliners. They gave such a spectacular performance that the crowd of over 2,000 would not let them leave the stage with shouts for more ringing out across the whole area. When they eventually did leave the stage, the crowd continued to shout their name throughout the rest of the evening, leaving the local media to quote one simple line. All people who are interested in good music should note three letters. J. P. B. Throughout 1981 and 1982, the band were prolific in their output of fresh new songs, with Carney penning the lyrics to popular numbers such as Midnight Lady, Don't Like Your Style, Devil's Highway, and The Brilliant Sinners. Unfortunately many recordings of these numbers have been lost over the years, although, various cassette recordings found during our research, have been used in the making of this video. Following the release of the single, and after recently getting married, Jürgen Klein moved to Canada with his new wife and family, 
where he worked within the music industry until his return to Germany in 2014. At the end of 1982, Ron Carney decided to leave the band due to family commitments, and return to England. He went on to have a successful musical career, performing both as a solo artist, and lead singer, frontman, with various bands throughout the UK and Europe. It is believed he is still performing to this day. Whilst the rest of the band continued to play together for a short time afterwards, they could not replace their enigmatic English vocalist. Due to this, and other reasons cited as musical differences, the band split up, and it is believed each went on to play in various other bands within Germany. It is noted that some members have got together in recent years for a, one-off, local rock revival festival, in Germany. The Jigsaw Puzzle Band J. P. B. Thank you. 